Hey everyone, it's Wednesday morning's devotional, and uh, I know we've been going through the Beatitudes, uh, those be happy attitudes, what real happiness is all about. And it just, Jesus just really flipped um, the whole meaning of happiness upside down because um, the world says happiness relates to the things happening in your life. If everything is happening perfectly, your circumstances are perfect, then you're happy. And that's why we're hardly ever happy because our circumstances are never perfect, but that's not what true happiness is. And we've been going through these Beatitudes, and today we're looking at Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, and that word blessed literally means, oh, how very happy. Oh, how very happy are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. What does it mean to be a peacemaker? Uh, I think it's a, a really misunderstood um, attribute, being a peacemaker, because a lot of times people think being a peacemaker is just backing off and just letting someone else have their way. And that's not the way it is in a marriage, in a family, in a business, um, in a nation. A, a peacemaker means that your whole motive is for peace. That's what you want is peace. And the only way you can really have peace is first you've got to be a truth teller. You got to be honest about the issues in a marriage relationship. You have to be honest about your faults, your feelings, your fears, uh, and when you are, that produces some conflict. But then that gives you a chance to have real peace as you work through those conflicts. Um, appeasement is just giving in, and that's not true peace. And appeasement is really destructive in relationships. It's destructive in nations. It's destructive in families. Um, but peacemaking is, that's your goal. And sometimes you have to do some really tough things in order to achieve peace. But you want true peace. That's what you really want. And um, it says that you'll be called child of God, children of God, because uh, that's what God does. God is a peacemaker. And that's why he sent the peace child, Jesus Christ, to this earth to die on the cross, to bring peace between God and humankind. As our sins had separated us from God, and God desired true peace, reconciliation, um, redemption. And that's why he sent Christ, uh, our only hope. And so today, seek to be a peacemaker. But many times being a peacemaker means uh, you got to be really courageous to tell the truth, to share your true feelings, um, to be honest about a situation, to not just give in, but to really seek peace in a relationship. The key is you speak the truth in love, not to get back at someone, but you speak the truth in love because you care enough about the relationship that you don't want to just appease the other person. You don't want to just please the other person. You want to be in a deep and rich relationship. So it's about truth, but yet it's about giving up your rights. Um, it's about making peace and being at peace and having true peace. Um, and that's what it's all about. There's a lot more to say about that, but I want you to study this and, and let's continue to read over the Beatitudes and ask God to put them in our lives because that's the secret to true happiness. Hey, God bless you. Have a great day.